My name is Alessandra Devoto and I am a professor of molecular plant biology at Royal Holloway University of London. I'm going to give you a brief account of our paper that will be published in the international journal New Phytologist on the 30th of October 2020. In other words, I'm going to tell you a story of a skinny weed and how that became a superhero. I'm sure everybody knows someone that has gone through chemotherapy and suffered severe side effects. The aim of our research was to look at the potential for chemotherapy to be successful without these harmful and damaging side effects. Our work showed that compounds from the leaves of a skin little plant called Arabidopsis thaliana, treated with a natural plant hormone jasmonate, a substance discovered in jasmine that boosts plant responses to stress, can stop the growth of breast cancer cells whilst the good cells are left intact. We've also discovered molecular mechanisms associated with the changes in the breast cancer cells that will allow development of further new treatments. And, uh, and it is important to remember though, it is paramount to remember that this work is still a long way from clinical application and it is essentially in vitro. We are not there yet, we are definitely heading in the right direction. Arabidopsis thaliana is an unassuming weed that belongs to the cabbage family but looks nothing like a cabbage. This plant has been used for over 20 years by many researchers as a model to study gene function because of its relative simplicity, but it has never been considered for its medicinal property up to now. I personally have, investigating this, have been investigating this plant since the early 1990s and I've been part of the so-called Arabidopsis um, community, Garnet, for a long time. I decided to start working on the medicinal property of Arabidopsis in 2006 when I joined Royal Holloway, where, when others weren't interested in the least in this aspect. And it has taken 14 years of ongoing work to achieve the research results that have been recently published. A true example true example of uh, perseverance and persistence from an international team, including researchers from UK, Germany, Spain, Turkey and Italy, based at three different UK universities. Our research is the result of a true team effort bridging the gaps between traditional Chinese medicine and Western approaches, as we investigated the molecular mechanisms and the chemicals involved. It is an unusual example of collaboration between three completely different scientific areas that do not normally work together. Plant molecular sciences, myself and my team, cancer biology, Dr. Amanda Harvey at Brunel University and her team, and biochemistry, Professor Nick Smirnoff at Exeter University at, and his team. None of us could have done this by themselves and I'm personally really grateful to the teams and my collaborators. We are looking forward to continuing our collaboration to identify the plant-derived chemicals that interfere with breast cancer cells, as well as with other diseases, and to progress this research by gathering more funding to benefit society more widely. Thank you.